Welcome to NFT Update. I'm DZ. I'm Justin. We come to you every Saturday, 11 a.m., bringing you all the NFT news and that's happening in the space. Projects you need to look out for, tokens you need to look out for, some of the NFTs that are hot. What do we uh, got going on this week that's hot? Well, one thing that I missed out on, and I feel pretty stupid about it, is... You idiot. I don't know. Lonely Aliens. So Lonely Man. Aliens, uh, I think on Mint Day, was 0. .06. I didn't like the art, so I passed. Somebody, two people reached out to me and said, you got to get on this project. I checked it out. Wasn't thrilled about the artwork. And so, come to find out, huge mistake. Yeah, some of the people I follow on Twitter were talking about it. And I, I think I, I didn't jump in at 0. .06. I jumped in at 0. .08. And I didn't want to pull the trigger. I was like, ah, I don't know. Next thing you know, boom, 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0.2. It just kept going up. Where, where are they at right now? 0 0.35 is the Ugh. floor. That's the cheapest one you can get. Uh, but remember this, 0 0.06 on Mint Day on a $2,000 Ethereum. That feels painful. Yeah. Ethereum's sitting over 3K. Does, does right it hurt? Now. It it hurts. Yeah, that's terrible. basically a little over a hundred bucks. And yeah, I mean now they're going for about a thousand. So I did I did jump on the Lizard Army, Crazy Lizard Army, and I'm, I was pretty happy with that one. I did end up flipping that, made about a six X on that uh investment. Okay. Uh there's also the the degenerative apes what launched. Is, what is it with apes? I don't know, man. They 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 love bananas, you know, they're always getting in there, they're hanging from trees. Sounds like some monkey business. <laughs> It certainly does. It blew up the Solana ecosystem. Uh, I mean, uh, everyone was saying how many create, you know, Solana pumped up. A lot of people are saying the reason Solana pump was the Degenerative Apes launch. Or, it makes you know. sense. I mean, they were on fire. Yeah. So, uh, well, speaking of, you know, the things that were hot, let's talk about some of the things that have, you know, yet to drop or things that are still like maybe not that known. And uh, that way we can give the Bit Squad here some good, uh, some good tips. Cool. Well, um, a really cool game that's the NFT game right now built on waves is waves duck hunt. So very simple uh, concept. You start with an egg. If you have three eggs, you can hatch those and create one duck. Now these ducks can be different. They can be an Elon duck. They can be a Pepe duck. They can be different ducks with different rarities with different egg laying uh, uh, speeds and abilities. Okay, so are you? What are you doing with these ducks exactly? Do they quack? No. Don't. Do they have the little pipe that makes the noise, like a, a quack pipe? I think they're called. Not these ducks. Oh, okay. these ducks. These ducks actually do something really cool. These ducks will. Um, you can do two things with the ducks. They can sit on a perch and lay eggs. Ooh. And again, some uh, some ducks will lay uh, an ROI of one egg a month. Some might might lay two eggs a month. These eggs are going for a thousand dollars right now on swap. FI. That's S W O P dot F I. So you can actually trade the eggs for waves or for USDT. Are these Fabergé eggs? <laughs> no, no, they're not. They're a actually thousand dollars. Yeah, it's crazy. They're fungible tokens. So the eggs can hatch other ducks. But another oh. cool thing that you can do with these ducks is two ducks you can breed and make a more rare duck. Ooh, I like that. I like yeah. that. That's so, an expensive omelet, by the way. Very thousand dollar egg. Crazy, so right? these ducks are just shooting out these eggs. Yeah. So you can actually there's an actual marketplace on ways where you can sell these ducks and you can sell the eggs. So the ducks are very some some ducks are I think fourteen thousand dollars. Ooh. Yeah, it's crazy. So these ducks, when they if if they have an ROI of two eggs a month. These ducks are working when you're sleeping, when you're at work, all throughout the day, and they're laying eggs. These eggs are a thousand dollars each. So if you have a good duck, you might be getting two, three thousand dollars a month. Hmm. I might have to move some coins around and hatch a plan to get one of these ducks. Nice, nice. All right. So our second project is Blocksport, and you know what Blocksport is? No, I don't. Tell me. All right. So it's imagine a scouting NFT platform. When I say scouting, I mean, we're talking about college students, you know. So before these students grow into these huge famous athletes, you're getting in on the ground floor. So imagine a Michael Jordan rookie card, NFT, but you discovered him when he was going to UNC. Wow. So, you know, you might have a player that's going to be on an NBA top shot or, you know, M MLB NFT, but you're getting these on the ground floor. So it's actually like buying a rookie card 
before they're actually rookies. Yeah, and it works two ways, you know, one way for the players and another way for the fans. And actually the players and the teams kind of work together and those contracts will be on the blockchain. So they cover all types of things, whether it's scouting, stats, uh, the NFTs for the players. So you can invest in players that you might want to support or perhaps, you know, with your college booster system, you want to just throw a little support for your favorite team. So it's a good way to support a player, support a team. Yeah. And actually, maybe if you pick right, if you get that Michael Jordan, support yourself. Yeah, there might be someone uh, in your state that won the state championship and you know what callers they're going to. You can go ahead, get on the ground floor, discover these players before all the scouts, stats and everything. And boom, I mean, you might see a huge upside on that. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah, well, we all know that that's kind of where NFTs are going. They're moving into this kind of space. You know, they're yeah. taking over the collectible space. They're taking over the investing space, the booster space. And with NFTs especially, it pays to be early. Just look at the crypto punks. You know, the NFT projects that are really popping right now that are going for several ETH is the ones that dropped a couple years ago. So when a player's on, you know, a top shot, it might be too late. But if you got in early, two years, three years before, I mean, that's when you're really, really getting a real rookie card. Sitting pretty. Sitting real pretty. So Blocksport, they're also working with agents and brands as a way to help these students. So, you know, maybe Coca-Cola might want to get involved one day. You might see some, you know, some of these real serious teams that already have brand deals with, you know, maybe Nike, maybe Wrangler, maybe some of these other uh, companies. So it's a good way to remove the friction from investing into a player. Yeah, and with college and everything, there's the whole thing about whether or not they should be paid. Mm -hmm. This is a good way to help support those college players. Very cool. Block Sport. Block Sport. Check it out. And the links, all these projects will be in the description. Yeah, we had a couple people in the comments last week saying, well, how do I find these coins? Look in the description. You might have to go down a few paragraphs. The links will be there. Absolutely. All right, number three. So... We talked about this project last week. It's Babylon. Um, we told you about the IDO that was coming out last Monday and Tuesday. Well, it dropped. And congratulations on the guys and, and the girls that actually got to invest into this project. I think it, it listed for four cent right now at the time of shooting this video. It's like it's around 20 cent. So that's a 5x from listing. Very cool. However, there is still time. This is this project has a lot of room. It's under a million dollar market cap. I think it's sitting around 700K. It is the rareable of Binance Smart Chain. Super easy to use, fun to use, so easy to mint and sell. And it's on Binance Smart Chain. So it's basically free to use this. Yeah, I would say one of the main ways that it still has room to run up is it's only on ApeSwap mm -hmm. right now. Yep. It hasn't even gone on PancakeSwap. I think once it's listed on Pancake Swap, it's going to be a whole lot more buying pressure. So I would say it's volume. still early. I would say it's still early. Yeah, a lot more volume once it moves over to that other Binance Smart Chain Dex Pancake Swap. So I have noticed a few liquidity pools being added there. So I would imagine probably in the next couple of weeks, the volume is going to shoot up as more people add liquidity to these pools. So congrats to all the Bit Squad members that jumped on that one early. Absolutely. So speaking of Babylon, that takes us to our giveaway. That is right, every Saturday, I want you to remember, we are always going to be giving away something on this show. Even if we don't have anybody that might wanna help us and uh, support the Bit Squad, I'll give away my own NFTs here. I'll give away a Bitpunk. I'll give every episode we're gonna be having giveaways. So Babylon was nice enough to uh, help us out this week and they're gonna help us reward the Bit Squad. Yeah, very cool. So we're going to have a new Twitter account for you to follow. Some pretty exciting news that's about to drop. You want to go into it? Does, does this have something to do with it? I think so. I that's have one. right. I have one down there. It's far. All right, so we have a new NFT line about to drop. It's 10,000 generative avatars, and they're aliens. It's called Pluto Alliance. That's right. So to win some of these Bobby tokens, you must follow Pluto underscore Alliance on Twitter, retweet our pinned tweet Saturday, and we're going to be choosing some winners and we'll announce them next episode. 5K in Babby token. So they were nice enough to sponsor this. So 5K in Babby token. Again, re go follow our Twitter account, Pluto, Pluto underscore Alliance, retweet the pinned tweet, and we are going to pick 
how many i say five people five followers that retweet our pin tweet and we're going to ask you for your for an address and we're going to airdrop these tokens so make sure you have your dms on so we can message you because we're going to be choosing five we're going to probably put it in the description of next week's episode i think so look, look at this guy he's so cute now the nfts are going to look a little bit better than this a lot better we're excited about this project we've been working on this project for about three to four weeks now super excited about it um it's called pluto alliance we'll go into the details next week of why it's called pluto alliance but guys be looking for this project to drop within the next 30 to 40 days i will say this pluto is a planet do you agree <gasps> i i agree i'm in the pluto alliance i'm in the pluto alliance are you in the pluto alliance once again, guys, thank you for joining us on another NFT update this Saturday. As always, we have an amazing giveaway. We've already announced it. Join us back every Saturday to get another announcement. 5K in Babby Token. Uh, also, we've given you two low-cap gems. Again, Babylon and Blocksport. Absolutely. So y'all make sure to join us next Saturday for another great show. Thank, thank you all. All right, and that's all we got time for. Fit Squad, DZ and Justin, out. Out.